Hey guys, King of the North here, back with some more Chrono Trigger. <clears throat> Last episode, we got our gate key back and are able to travel back in time to get Bass Moon paired. A uh, little off camera work, I did go back and get two more horns and I traded them in with. Uh, what item was it? Uh, fang. So it was three horns and three fangs. See, I have zero now. Uh, let's see what this does. I'll probably just do it regardless, just so I can get whatever the item is. Strong arm, sure. That's Robo's. Um, no. So I did that. <clears throat> Mix those two, the fang and thorn, and I actually got Chrono's weapon, which is a flint edge. So definitely worth it. I think it was six points of an upgrade. So I, I recommend getting it if you don't already have the items for that. So we're heading back up here to use the gate key to go back to uh, our time period. Oh man, it snuck up on us. Um, to get our time period to have Asimune uh, repaired by... Um, Belkiewer, or whatever his name is. And then we have to head back to 600 AD and give Frog the Asimune to take out Agus. Metal one horn. Actually, I'm a little worried about... Luca right now. I'm hoping just to get through here so I can... Oh, didn't get it. Um, just so I can uh, get to the overworld again and use a shelter. Uh, Napalm works really well on these, so... Because it's like an AoE attack, I'm gonna stick with that. Wipes them both at, wait, wipes them all at one shot. Ooh, Marlon Cure. That's a much better version to what she has right now. It's just Aura, I believe it is. So here's our gate key, our, our portal, our gate. Jump. Fortunately, the gate caught them. Actually, I don't even have to use a shelter. We can go back to the end of time. And there is a fountain, I believe. That restores our MP. Yes. Alright, so we go in here. And... Uh, Specchio has a new form. Uh, I don't believe we could take him out. You gotta be, like, a lot stronger. But I think he gives us... Looking for some practice now. Okay, I wasn't sure if he would give us better spells. But we'll come back and try to fight him again. Once we're a little bit stronger. Um, is this the Medina Village? No, this is six, 65 million BC. Oh boy. No, we're not going in the future. Uh, Medina Village, okay, yeah. So we're gonna pop out of the closet here. Then run over to Melchior's hut. Hey, what's up guys? Don't mind us. Just using your closet again. Found some Dreamstone? Then I'll repair the Massa Moon. How on earth did you get the Massa Moon and the Dreamstone? No, don't tell me. I don't think my heart could take it. It'll take a while to fix this. At least we have good music. I'll lend a hand. We got different music now. Right, let's check in on these guys. Alright then. Okay. Alright then. How are you gonna fix it? Just watch them bob their heads, I guess. That's how they plan to do it. To repair the Mass Moon, we must process the Dreamstone and activate the sword. 
You work on the Dreamstone, and I'll work on the sword. Okay, leave it to Luca the Great. Give her a couple compliments, and it just goes to her head. Okay, she got a cup. Alright, it's done. Now bring me the Dreamstone. I'm done here too. I'm glad she knew how to activate a uh, stone she's never seen before. Alright, let's get started. And they're blessing it. Sorry to keep you waiting. There it is. Take a good look. This is the Masamun. Awesome. What a weapon. Well, I think that's everything. Okay, Chrono. Let's take the Masamun to Frog. This, wep this weapon represents considerable power. Your actions may either save or destroy life. Well, hopefully we're saving life by stopping Magus from bringing forth Lavos. Build your sword with full knowledge of the consequences. Well, we won't be wielding it. I'd like to buy something? I guess it was a crummy advertisement, right? Have everything here. I do you want to try to stock up on some tonics? And some mid-tonics? Nice to get some of these. Getting kind of low. You could probably grab a couple shelters, too. And some more mid tonics now that I have to see how much money I still have. Alright, I think we're good. I have 11 of each. Alright, so it's time for us to head back to 600 AD to give this to Frog. Uh, it's this residence. Oh, I was worried. I didn't think it was going to work. They close our, our gate off forever? Okay. Um, Bruce Canyon, 600 AD. There it is. It's our destination. Oh, it's all to the left. Jeez. Alright, so we have to go through this mountain again. We're going to get a uh, fight here. Happens every time. Tech Cyclone, he can hit all of them, so that's good. Twenty-two experience, two tech, ninety G. All right, I believe we can avoid all the other fights in here, so that's good. All these guys are kicking around this ball until Lavos comes around and blows everything up. I guess, right? Um. Oh, yeah, okay. I was going to say, did we clear the bridge? Of course we cleared the bridge. And he is in this forest off to the left. Cursed woods. We don't get any... Oh, that's uh, the newt or something, I think it is. Stop it, you dog. I think they're in every time period they have an appearance... Okay, here's Frog. Tis thee again. There's the Mossa Moon. The sword. Tis the Mossa Moon. I must ponder this turn of events. Remaineth here the night. And we are having a flashback right now. Cyrus, are you leaving? Yes, it is time we took back the metal from the Frog King. And I'd like to see the mythical sword for myself. But Cyrus, the kingdom needs you. And Lean and I need you. you. must return to us. As long as there is life in these bones, I shall return. 
by your lead. Walk down the stairs backwards, it's a little dangerous. Almost lost his life there. Sir Cyrus. We, the Knights of the Square Table, wish you a safe journey. Why won't you accompany him? Listen well, my friends. I now entrust the safety of the kingdom to you. Pardon the delay. Shall we be off? Glenn, you be careful too. Be the sound health. Be of sound health, your majesty. And here, Cyrus and Glenn. Uh, Glenn seems ill-equipped. <laughs> He's just standing there. And this is the Frog King. So you want the badge of courage, dear knight of the kingdom. Well, come and take it, if you can, ribbit. Prepare yourself, Polywog, and guard. Nirvana strike. Crack. How dare you pick on a helpless amphibian. Uh, well, apparently he was kind of deadly, right? Filthy metal. I won't forget this. Alright, so beat up some kind of toad there. Jesus. Ah! Beware, Glenn. Cyrus, the sword. The Masamun. There's Ozzy and Magus. Is that the best you can do? Without your sword, you're nothing. You haven't beaten me yet. Cyrus, I'm a goner. Glenn, escape while I keep them at bay. But, if you stay, they'll get us both. Go on, Glenn. You better worry more about yourself, Cyrus. Come on, Glenn, go. Ah! So he charges Magus and gets smacked to the ground. Cyrus. Run, Glenn. The Queen. Take care of Lee. Cyrus. Cyrus! And he just bursts in the flames. What's the matter? Aren't you gonna try your luck? Ugh. Cack out your tongue, kid. How about it, Magus? Can't you give him a more fitting form? Alright, why not? There's always time for a little fun. Ah! So he spins in circles a bunch of times and falls off the cliff. You spineless wimp. Ten years hath passed. Can I do it? I've changed so much. Alas, poor Cyrus. Awaketh Chrono. There's Frog's music. Though we may fail, let us go to Magus's lair. Thou knoweth his power. Nothing can beat science. We, d we won't be beaten by a bad guy. So here, uh, Frog needs to be in the party. I am actually going to swap out Marl. I don't really want to. Actually, I'll probably leave her in the party for now. I might, I probably might swap her a little bit later. I, I like her for healing. So, um, of course we have this great music. It's Frog's song. 
definitely feel free to download this. It's it's a good one. It's one of the best ones, in my opinion. We are coming up to another really good song. Uh, in a little while. It probably won't be this episode. It might be a little bit later. Uh, a couple more episodes, but I will be sure to point that one out. Snuck by those snakes. Okay, so I believe if you go around talking to various people in town, you'll be told where to go. Uh, I do want to stop at Tata's house now that we have Frog with us. How could I phone? Eh, it's the same thing. Oh, I wasn't sure if something would happen with Frog being there. So, um, I believe you might be able to get tips throughout the town as to where you're supposed to go, but where we need to go is actually over... Oh, it's not this. Yeah, here it is. Uh, Magic Cave. Cyrus, run for your lives! Younger Cyrus and younger Glenn. Snivel, thanks, Cyrus. I guess he's getting ready to get sick from spinning around in circles so many times. Uh, Glenn, there's times when people simply have to grit their teeth. But it hurts when I get hit. They. You're a marshmallow, Glenn. <laughs> oh, jeez. Hey, Glenn. I've been thinking about becoming a knight. I knew you were going to enlist. You'll make a great warrior. Why don't you join too? I don't think I'd make the cut. But why? You're better with a sword than I am. I don't know. I think I'd really lose it if I had to hurt someone. You're such a marshmallow. It's Glenn falling off the cliff after Cyrus burned. And if you haven't pieced it together yet, Frog is Glenn. The medal, the hero's medal. Handeth over the massive moon. So I guess when Magus turned Glenn into a frog, he also, uh, or maybe it was the fall that did brain damage to have him talk like this, because he wasn't talking like that when he was just Glenn. It wasn't until he became a frog. My name is Glenn. Cyrus's hopes and dreams, and now the Massimo. Forthwith, I shall slay Magus and restore honor. take it easy with this sword. We um, literally just got it fixed, and 
You know, Chrono decided to shove it into the ground, and Frog decided to cut a mountain in half. Jesus. We only have, uh, so much stone here, guys. Alright, so there's a bat following us, and we're in a cave. Now, I believe... I think I have to, I might have to go to the end of time to get Rog. Is magic? I'm trying to remember. And I think I need to do that because these enemies, as you see, like, they're not taking much damage from physical attacks. I'm trying to remember how I could do that. That is not enough damage. Alright, uh, I'm gonna have to do something here. I gotta use uh, lightning. I'm trying to think in my head while I'm just getting ripped apart by this rodent. Um, let's do lightning. I think, I think they're just weak to magic in general. 160, okay. Uh, actually, so I don't waste anything, I'm going to pause the video here and meet you all back here if, after I stop. Uh, be that magic you use? I have heard only magicians wield it now. Travel to the end of time and you too may learn to use magic. Okay, yes, yeah, so that's what we have to do. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna cut out the travel back and stuff. Hold on. Okay, and we are back. Uh, yes, just run back to the end of time, talk to Specchio, and you get the magic ability for Frog, which is water, and he says when you walk in there, a frog, what an odd-looking person, uh, a frog, he should have water. So he, he like, uh, Marl here has, uh, water in, as their ability. Uh, they differ in the sense that See, his spell is water, and have Marl who has ice. So she just has it in a different form than Rog. So we have ice water, which is actually a mixed combo between Marl and Frog, which is super powerful. I'm gonna show it off here. It's an AoE attack, it hits everybody. It's great for this area. Also, uh, I went while I was off camera and uh, I made sure I equipped Frog with some more up-to-date gear as well. Uh, because we have used him before, and he ha he had the starter armor, so he does have uh, much better armor on him. Now, I gave him a ruby vest, so he can uh, take some hits. It's ice water, and should clear out all of these guys. And, they're all gone. 350G, not bad. And we have more. We position ourselves, I guess, instead of just fighting it from where we were. Uh, gonna use ice water. Nope, not ice sword. Ice water. Here we go. That should clear him up. There we go. Not bad. 218 XP. Head up these stairs. Talk to this guy. A note written in blood. The juggler in Magus's castle strengthens his guard when attacked. Beware. Thank you for the heads up. Uh, apparently that's all. There's nothing else. Alright. 
He's dead. He just got a note attached to him. Warning. Anyone who passes is by. And here we are. This is Magus's lair. This can only be. Magus's castle. Here we are, Magus's castle. Let's enter. And it is absolutely silent. And that bat is still following us. But for now, guys, I am going to call this an episode. I want to save Magus's castle for its own. And, you know, Frog gets his own episode here. So, in the next episode, we'll head off to left or right. We'll see what how we're feeling. Um, and try to find Magus and take him down. So feel free to like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you all different time. Peace.